I have been experimenting a lot with Vue 3 applications lately. Uh, that's because in the organization I work, Mercedes-Benz, I only get to work on uh, legacy projects which are in Vue 2. So in this process, uh, I ended up creating uh, some applications in Vue 3. Um, one of which is this uh, episode date API. So I was uh, going through some of the open source APIs available. I came across uh, this API uh, which uh, displays the data of popular TV shows around the world. So I thought of giving it a try and uh, implementing it in one of the uh, one of my experimental view 3 applications. So uh, this API provides some uh, endpoint. Uh, for example, it has an endpoint which uh, fetches the details of most popular uh, TV shows around the world probably based on ratings uh, you can search for a given show you also have a details endpoint available which would show you um, the details of the show and uh, uh, episode date so yes uh, I really enjoyed uh, working with this API so coming back uh, to the application I have uh, this is created in view 3 um, and um, it has uh, two important pages one is the list page the other is a details page so list page uh, by default it uh, shows you all the popular shows from the show pop most popular api here and you also have this uh, search feature so if i try to type in something here for example breaking uh, I have quite a few results and there we have Breaking Bad which is quite a popular show so yeah uh, they have this uh, search feature available if I want to view details of any of these shows okay so uh, it shows you uh, the plot of the show in short it will show you the details of the show, uh, the country of origin, ratings count, status, is it still ongoing or has it ended. So yeah, details like the, these are available. I would just quickly show you uh, the API data which I am getting. So preview, TV show, uh, I have description, description shows, source, episodes, geno, ID, image path. So I think uh, I included most of the things which are available from the API. We also have this uh, pagination feature available. Uh, not a complicated uh, pagination. You just uh, have this next and uh, previous uh, button which would uh, allow you to navigate through results. editor and uh, show you the source code uh, the uh, UI component which I have been using for this uh, I took it from one of the uh, UI component providers I think uh, the name was uh, Tailwind components I would just search for it So uh, in one of the companies I worked previously, uh, I had uh, uh, access to this. So I still use uh, some of the components from this uh, uh, website. I think uh, while developing uh, full stack applications, uh, one of the areas where most of your time gets consumed is uh, tweaking the UI. So I think uh, ready-made UI components from uh, these uh, sites really helps a lot so I've been using uh, those ready-made components for uh, getting the UI done quickly and uh, I will just show you real quick the packages which I have used in this project so this uh, headless UI uh, it I used it for dynamic components like this drop down for example uh, I got this uh, from the Tailwind UI uh, component library, uh, this site, which I showed you. 
so let, coming back to the application this drop down which you see here uh, all these things are provided by headless ui so i am uh, currently on this website headless ui which uh, i have used in this uh, project and the menu which uh, you saw previously uh, is coming from uh, this uh, code here yeah. so uh, that is it i would uh, include the source code for this uh, in the description so please feel free to check it out give it a star and if this video um, was informative to you please uh, consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel for more uh, technology and programming related content okay so with that being said uh, see you in another video thanks for watching